here we go. The new AnyType beta has been released, and it's been a little bit, but I'm back on track of my schoolwork. Most of it's done. So I thought I'd take a look and see what I can find and report my findings back to you guys. So as you can probably tell, I've opted to not transfer over my old vault. Instead, I decided to create a new vault, or I guess they're called workspaces, in the new AnyType beta, which has led me to be presented with all of the notes that they've already included in the beta. And while it might seem pretty basic, it actually walks you through the new design, which is pretty great. It started me out on this graph page that shows all of the notes and the relations, which is pretty cool, but I really want to focus on some of the basic stuff they've added. I'll get to some tutorials later on. Right now, I just want to take a look at the new look and feel of any type. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know you could move these around. That's actually, they've got a pretty satisfying animation for all of this. Like it feels very responsive. Okay, anyway, on to any type. So the most you know, glaring addition here is the widgets. I guess glaring has a negative connotation, which isn't really fair because I think the widgets here are great. They've got a lot of you know default widgets. I don't believe you can move something like the library, which has all the relations, or the bin, but you can definitely move these sorts of things around in terms of removing them, editing them, drag and dropping them. All of the widgets here are pretty great. So Obviously, it started me out with, you know, my personal space at the top. This is just the personal note. One of the interesting things that they've added is a dashboard, a home page. So you can choose what your home page is. In this case, it starts as my dashboard, but I could, you know, have it be the graph view. I could have it be the last open object, or I could have it be an existing object, which I can choose. These are, you know, all the ones that they've got in here. But I think that's pretty cool because one of my major complaints was that when you opened any type previously, you just kind of got this homepage looking thing that wasn't very helpful and the file navigation was pretty bad. Now I get logged into my dashboard, which of course is, you know, the next widget up here. And that shows the task tracker that they've designed for us, the notes that have been created, and then some helpful materials that they've added. I think this is a great addition and I'll definitely be playing around with it because the ability to have a homepage, have somewhere to log into is really great in my opinion. Now, of course, you've got your task tracker. You can see this in a Kanban board, I guess. Um, sort by priority or high priority. This is pretty solid. I think they've done a good job with these. One note that I have is that it definitely feels a lot smoother in terms of how all the animations play out, how, oh, I'll do that later, how all of the, you know, text moves, how the entire thing scrolls. Like if I scroll down to the bottom of this, jump to this and then come back, it'll have relocated myself to the top of this page. It used to save my scroll position, which was really annoying. So that's a bug that I have I think I've reported or somebody else has reported, but it's been fixed, which is really cool. I haven't really seen software get updated this quickly or this responsively before. So this is really neat. Um, another thing you probably noticed that I clicked here is in these tasks over here, which is, you know, this, um, this inline set made into a widget. So if I got rid of this, if I remove this widget and then hit edit widgets, add, I could go here, choose a source, and I would do the task tracker. Um, we'll do it as just a normal list. Number of widgets or number of objects, eight, add widget. Now it's all the way down at the bottom. I don't really like the view of this. Um, oh, you can minimize it. That's cool. Yeah, I don't really like that, but I'll keep it for now. Um, oh, that's Okay, so there's a little window up here that I can use to, to drag it up. That's kind of frustrating. Oh well, so I'll drop that there. Anyway, what you'll notice with these is that I can actually click on each one of these and it will take me to a note on this task. So it's not just a little, um, how do I go back? It's not just a little note right here. It's actually its own page that can be edited. This new pop-up window I think is really great. The fact that it's got a very smooth way to pop up over everything you're doing. Now, obviously another addition down here is this little bar, I guess, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And it definitely reminds me of anything found on a mobile device. It looks very mobile, I guess, which is kind of cool. I haven't gotten a chance to test it on my phone, but it looks like something that would be found on a mobile device, at least to me. Aside from that, I think uh, the last thing to point out is that the library has gotten an overhaul. Now, I think it's pretty small. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, I might actually be wrong on this, but in my previous AnyType vault, I had a big issue because I accidentally deleted some of the default types and some of the default relations, which meant that the other default types and default relations didn't work because, why am I here? Because all of a sudden, you know, my collection type, my image type was missing a couple of the relations. So they finally actually locked some of the relations that are required to have and made it so that you can't delete those, which is great because yeah, in the past I might've deleted, uh, let's say like the description relation, 
And then in a lot of these notes, it would just say deleted relation. And there was no way to get that back. There was no way to edit it because you know all of these are locked to editing. So it's really great that these are all here. These are all really secure. And yeah, so this is just a quick update of what they've changed, at least you know, I've that I've first seen. I think this looks really great. I'm gonna be continuing to serve you guys tutorials and anything else that has popped up. I've got a couple requests for some things. I'm also looking to branch out, but this is just a quick checkup on what's new here and what's possible, and I'll be seeing what more I can do in a bit.